Yeah. Hi, can I place an order for takeout? Yeah. Can I do the want the wonton soup with barbecue pork? Okay. And then can I do um, two egg rolls as well? Two egg rolls, okay. And then? Uh, and that's it. Yeah, about 15 minutes. Fif 15 minutes? Okay, I'll, I'll see you soon. Next stop, Chinatown. Okay, Monday afternoon, very excited to be down here in Chinatown. Uh, today's video made possible by this whole trip, Mr. Nick Russell. Thank you so much, Nick. Uh, he wants me to get wonton soup with barbecue pork, yeah, and apparently the best egg rolls in all of Chinatown. So, yeah, again, let's go. Mmm, soya pork stomach and pork ears. Nick, you sure you didn't want me to get something else? <laughs> Hello, I did a carry-out order on the phone for uh, soup and egg rolls. Thank you so much, have a great day. Anything I've ever heard about that place is that it's like the best prices in all of Chinatown, so this is only 12 bucks. Yeah guys, I still gotta get my damn battery fixed. Really need an advanced auto parts, you know? All right guys, here's how you know I'm a professional. I brought my own spoon. Just in case they gave me a chintzy spoon, I BYOS'd. Let's get set up here. Clean the seat back, take off all your plaid, <laughs> install dining room table. Say grace. Remember that joke? Grace, <laughs> that's Slade in the 90s. Oh, dear God. Overcast, mid 40s, not gonna get me down. I do not get to come down to Chinatown as much as I want to. I love it down here. I have some favorite spots. I've never been to Seven Treasures Cantonese ever. I've heard amazing things, and because of this vlog, because of the show, because of the camera angle that doesn't need to exist, that's in the car now. Like, we're not making this a thing going forward. Like, don't get used to this. Why? This is all we need. We don't need whatever. We got a water, we got a coffee, we got a spoon. We got Chinese food. Nick Russell, such an awesome dude, understands the assignment, donated big, twice. This is video one of two for him. He's not just paying for the food. He's leaving money on top to make the video, to go down to Chinatown, to do the whole thing. I love when under people, I love when under people can't talk. Hey man, I just set 40 bucks on Cash App for a request for you to try Seven Treasures Cantonese on Wentworth Avenue. The egg rolls are the best I've ever had, and the sweet and sour sauce off the table is insane if you get it. And the wonton soup with barbecue pork. You gracious son of a bitch. You son of a bitch. I love when people understand the assignment. All right, two egg rolls, a fork. Nick was crazy about the sweet and sour sauce. This is actually the brand they use on the table, and then also they give you to go. The hot mustard that I feel like nobody uses, but we're gonna use it today. And then what do they just give me, rice? Oh, this is, <laughs> I'm an idiot. This is the barbecue pork. In the words of Ben Dean, who I love, it's looking mighty fine. Oh yeah. I regret not bringing my own bowl. I should have done. <laughs> I mean, fried to utter perfection. Like, what are we talking about here? Look at the bubbles. Look at the crispiness. Hear that crisp? Unreal. And then here we got that barbecue pork. That nice red tinge to it. This is probably so stupid. I'm gonna just try to put... Will this go in here easily? Got all that pork. And then here's the real money here. These are the wontons. Look at these wontons. It's going in our soup. Don't overflow. Big ol' wontons, look at that. It's literally, ah, uh, gonna overflow. All right, we're gonna have to kind of piecemeal this together. In the words of my mother, this soup is hotter than Hades. I've been told by many people that these are the best egg rolls in Chicago. Let's find out. That was really flattering. It's absolutely unreal. Forget everything you thought you knew about egg rolls. Wow, so flavorful. The breading is just the best part. Like, it's just got its own, it's got a mind of its own. It's only $1.75 per egg roll. Any spilling, we're okay. I, I wore my eating pants. Truly, I have eating pants. All right, the sweet and sour sauce that Nick dreams of. Damn, that's just so like, 
gelatinous. Let's go. Dude, this ain't no Panda Express. Oh my God. What? That is like achieving another level. Why are egg rolls so good? All right, I'm gonna try this. Keep in mind, this is not car food. <laughs> wow. Good, like, Asian soups. The moment the broth hits your lips and penetrates itself into your esophagi, it is like you are being hugged. Like your mom and your grandma, like, hugging you at the exact same time. That is what a good soup, Chinese, Korean, Japanese, Cantonese, anything. This is that instant feeling. I'm holding it like in church when they would give you like the chalice to drink some of, which that's a whole nother conversation, Jesus's blood. But they would always like hand it to you like with two hands like this and you would always take it and be like, you never saw anybody one hand it. <laughs> All right, let's get a wonton with that broth soaking it. So excited. Come on. Okay! Wontons like defy physics. Like they're so soaked, but there's still like such a sturdiness to them. Oh, that is so good. What? What? For we will build the city of God. May our tears. That pork's had time to marinate in the sauce. Nick, you weren't wrong. I get a lot of food recommendations of people saying stuff's the best and that's great and everything. Two egg rolls, a massive barbecue pork wonton noodles, and there's a bunch more like noodles in here. All of that food for $10.75 and then the tax was $1.25. Look how much more is in here. You guys can probably see I'm wearing my Avit Brothers hat. This weekend I went to the Chicago Theater and caught their third sold out show of the weekend. They are so good live, like folksy, light rocky, twangy, sometimes bluegrassy, like it was just such a great show. It just further cemented like living downtown, like the fact that I live right in the thick of it is so worth it to me because like I grew up in a very small little suburb of Detroit and I didn't have access to like, you could just walk and do everything and like like Saturday night was like dinner and drinks at Miller's Pub, legendary, iconic, been there for a hundred years. Left, walked to Chicago theater, saw a two and a half hour just mind blowing show, saw a girl throwing up spaghetti in the stairwell at like 8.30 p.m., must have pre-game too hard, been there. Mom spaghetti. And then went to Rossi's, bellied up to the bar, then went to Snickers, and then got a nightcap at Shamrock Club, and like that was my Saturday night. It was, Chicago, it's unfair. I gotta drink more of this bucket so I can fit more of the food in it. <laughs> Man, get soups like this while it's still cold outside, because I the last thing I want is hot broth in like a Chicago summer. Soak it up now. When I lived in Jacksonville, Florida, I don't think I had a bowl of soup for two years. <laughs> Yeah, dude, there's great beaches and everything, but did you ever just miss soup? <laughs> what? All right, a couple more wontons. God, this is a lot of food for $7 for this soup. And then let's put these like, they're almost like ramen style noodles in a way. Let's try to fit this in here. Let's not be too crazy. It's just a square of noodles. Go in the broth, break it up, break it up. Like this is my Monday. It's Monday, what is it? It's, you guys are seeing this probably for dinner time. I gotta go home and edit it because that takes longer than driving here, filming it, shooting B-roll. The edit's nine times longer than everything else. <laughs> the editing takes it. You don't do any editing. You're the on-camera dude. I do the editing. I put these videos together. Donate to me. Why can't I just have a robot do that? <laughs> How about I shove a robot straight up your ass? It's 2 p.m. on a Monday, and I'm just sitting, I'm parked at just the corner of Wentworth and 23rd, just eating in a car. Every single person that's walked by this car has stared at me. Rightfully so, I get it. Wonton life. When you get the bites with the wonton and the pork in them together, that's S tier. I don't even want to drive away. Maybe I just live here now. Do you guys rock with the hot mustard? I feel like they always throw it in the bag and I never use it. Like maybe once in a while. Because it's such a strong mustard. Highly concentrated or something. My hands are so slippery. I brought a towel from home too. Don't forget to bring a towel. What? Is there anything more frustrating when you can't get a condiment packet open? Like, I just look like such a bitch. My pocket knife's in the trunk. 
and I have a tray here. <laughs> I can't, I'm locked in. I will give somebody $15 to open this packet. Oh, I got it. Oh, I used the towel. Thanks, Dolly. You wanna get high? Hours have gone by. What if it jump cut it and it was nighttime? <laughs> All right, let's get a little mustard on here. Bro, eating mustard like this is like snorting wasabi. I can smell all the way back to my apartment. Wow, so worth the struggle though. Oh, that's like medicine. This is not gonna be flattering. All right, next time it's BYOS and BYOB. Spoon and bowl. I'm gonna bring a big plastic bowl. <laughs> Working noodles. Oh, there's a little bit of wonton on here. How was your guys' weekend? Anybody do anything nuts? And that pork bite was like, had been on the bottom for a while. Ooh, I found another wonton. And a piece of pork stuck to it, and some noodles. What are we doing? What a Monday. Do you guys have a Chinese restaurant where you're currently living that is just like, hands down the best in town? I feel like the best ones I always knew about growing up were like always in strip malls. Like for whatever reason, there would be like an H&R Block, a Subway, a nail salon, and then the most fire Chinese restaurant of all time. What's that spot for you guys? I think Chinese food's probably the best bang for your buck cuisine, kind of like everywhere in America. I feel like Chinese, you get so much food for so little amount of money compared to other things. Your money goes far. All right, I gotta get out of here. I got stuff to do. I haven't gotten to your video yet, dude. It's in that notebook and we will be doing it. I'm just, the support right now has been incredible and keep donating to have the show keep going. And this has kind of become like almost a little side, almost full-time job to be able to do this and travel and do things. So if you wanna support the Venmo, the Cash App, the PayPal, it goes so, so far, you guys. You have no idea. So thank you so much for supporting me. Nick, thanks for the amazing food recommendation. Egg rolls were fire. The soup was unreal. I just feel good. I feel like, I feel good, good. Hey, real quick, before you guys take off, would you mind opening this other packet of this hot mug? <laughs>